Today, I got a game that I started playing and I kind of gave you guys a heads up on, which is Fishing Lands. We're going to go through and show you how to play. It's pretty simple to get started. However, if you don't know what you're doing, you might be a little confused. So this quick video should get you knowing exactly what you need. With this game, I like fishing. So I've been excited for a fishing game to come out and it has and it's pretty good. It's got a long way to go, but at the same time, the release has been good and I like it so far. So I'm excited to see what else they have. Let's go ahead and jump in on the computer and I can give you a better idea of what's going on. As always, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a gamer and I just wanted to share this video with you. This is not a sponsored video. It's just a game that I like and I got into and I thought it was pretty cool. It is a game that you're currently going to need to go in every hour and play. So if that's not your thing, that might not be it. However, it's more than just clicking and I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So let's go in and show you what to do with this game. You just go and you will need a fisher which is Baby Boy. It looks like there's one under $4 right now. Prices have been all over the place so far because it just came out at like about 15 hours ago. So you can get packs on here. The pack sale did not sell out. The small packs, barely any sold, maybe like 20. And the big packs, half of them sold. So you're looking about 250 big packs and maybe 20 small packs. So not a lot of cards were produced. I don't think there's any mythics that have been put for sale yet, so I haven't seen that. You can go to fishing lands and you'll need a fisher to start and a fishing rod. And each rod is like a tool, so you'll be able to do that. You can have up to four tools at a time. And obviously each rarity is gonna give you a more token per time you fish. There's four rarities. This is the commons. These are the rares. These are the legendaries, and like I said, mythic, I haven't seen anything yet. So with me, I saw some legendaries really cheap. I tried to sell some stuff, but it wasn't fast enough, and they were picked up. So I, I ended up going with rares. I did open up some packs. Two packs were two commons each. One pack was two rares. So then I picked up two rares of the other fishing rod. So there's two things you can fish for. There's fish and there's steel. So it's basically the same thing, it's just two to do with each. So let's get into the game and kind of show you what it is. It is a 3D game. We just go ahead and click connect with wax. First time you come in, you're gonna to need to have baby boy, like I said, and you're going to need to create a name. I just went with mine, Kevin Smack, and then join online is what I hit. Now it might show your baby boy on the bottom here. If it does, you'll click it to stake it. Once you stake it, you're set and then you're in the game. If you have a premium pass, you can get a bonus reward here. You just click this, and to activate it, you just click on the pass. Once you click on the pass, it'll activate, and then you'll be able to use it once every 24 hours, and then you'll see the cooldown. This just gives you a little bonus for one fishing attempt. There is a chat room, though I haven't seen anyone reply, but I have typed. And this is how many fish you have up here, one, how many steel you have up here, one. Let's go ahead and make it big, make it a little easier. I'm going to disappear to give you the whole aspect. Once you get here, there's set land. This is going to be to change lands. You just click on these two circles and you can change. I pretty much just choose the first one because it's the most popular. And eventually they will sell lands. And when they do, that'll be very interesting. I hope I am able to acquire one. When you first start, you do need bait. You can come over here and your first time of bait is free. You just click on here and click these buttons and it gives you 24 bait, which is enough for you to get started. And you can walk around, not much else to do at this point. You know, it gives you an idea of the amount of players that are on here and the fee. Uh, there's no fee because the lands aren't given out yet. And then you can click this joystick over here to show, you know, to move like this if you'd like. That's completely up to you. We have some buttons across the bottom. The first one is your inventory. This is going to be your baits, how many baits you have. I have spent a lot of my money on bait because in the shop it's counting down and I'm wondering if they're giving it at a really cheap rate in the beginning. So just to be safe, I went through and spent all my stuff on it. Then you go to tools. 
These are the tools that I'm currently not using that can be used. And then you can go to parts, but I don't have any. That's how you're going to be able to fish to get parts. And then you'll be able to build your rod. And then tool suspend, this is just one that I tried. Basically, if you remove your rod, it heals and it takes 12 hours to heal to full durability, no matter how much durability you used. So I'll show that here when we go over to the dock, your fishing rods are going to pop up and there is sound. However, I do have it turned off. You're going to see energy 70 out of 120. When you hit zero, you want to hit this red mark and it's going to remove it for you. And what this does is it makes it so you need to take a break for 12 hours on the game. And I think it's a good idea. However, there is a way around it. All you need to do is have more tools. So for me, I have eight tools so I can rotate, but I'm really not a person that plays 24 hours a day. I just don't want to be dealing with the energy running out, say at 1 PM, you know, cause 12 is a lot for me to do in a day. I might do 10 and then two the next day. And then I have to wait 12 hours. So because of that, instead of dealing with that problem, all I did was buy more tools. Common tools are pretty cheap right now, and the rares you might be able to snag at a discount. I got these two rares from Fish. This is the steel one, the Fish one for about $45 each, so $90 for the pair of them. And now I think it's 50 some. But you can get commons I'm seeing in the teens. You could probably start this game for around $24. Once you go away from the dock, it's going to disappear like that. They do have an ROI calculator. I'll put it on the screen just to give you an idea of what it's looking like. Remember, the mythics are not available in the shop. So that data is wrong. And a lot of this has been moving around because the lower end stuff has been selling out. But you can see the commons right now are seven day ROI which is pretty good, $15 for this one and $17 for this one. Of course, not a lot of people are buying the coin right now because the crafting portion is not out, but once it is, I'm sure that's gonna drive up the token more. Right now, you just have people jumping in and seeing the potential of the game and liking it and grabbing onto the token. For me, I'm just gonna farm it at this point and see how it goes, and when the crafting comes out, I'll try to jump in really quick at that point and see what I can do. I would like to jump up to legendaries because the tools make different amounts. Your common makes one, your rare makes three, your legendary makes nine, and your mythical makes 27. So you're looking at a huge difference as you move up here. And you're going to see weird numbers up here. That's because the game just came out. They did not do what most people usually do. Usually they give like a bundle of tokens to throw in the market so people can get started. No, they didn't do that. They just said, you know, you get what you get. You know, whatever you fish out, that's what tokens are in the game. But that was really cool. I also thought it was really cool that they did go ahead and burn all those packs that didn't sell. Because now you're looking at a lot less tools. It's going to benefit the people that got in early and the people that are enjoying the game. Which I am so far. And that's why I'm making this video. Back to the game here, you can see someone's starting to fish now. We're going to do that in a moment, but before we do, let's look at the other tabs here. So we looked at inventory. The next one is shop. When you click on that, you can see your baits. So this one is one of one of either to buy. You click on it and then you say how many you want to buy and you buy it. And then it'll go into your inventory so you can use that bait. You do need bait to catch the fish. And then you can do the same thing with green. I went through and bought a bunch of green and see the timer here is what made me a little nervous. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and stock up. I mean, I'm sure they're still gonna have it, but maybe they charge more, maybe they don't. I don't know if this is gonna move around or not. I have a feeling this is kind of similar to Farmer's World where prices will variate as the economy goes for it. So we'll see how that goes. You can go in the Fisher and you can see you can buy a baby boy for 200. I wouldn't actually buy that, you know, but when newer ones come out, maybe they have different talents or maybe they just look different. Maybe they're cosmetics. I don't know. We'll have to kind of see. And then parts are here and you can see there are some common parts out that you can purchase. I don't want any common parts. You know, I want the uh, the higher stuff. So I'm not going to be building any commons because I already have eight tools and that's the most you can maximize because I have four on, four off, and then after that I can just rotate. Multi-counting is not allowed. 
so you will not be able to use a second account. So don't try because you will get banned. So for that reason, there's no point for me to build any more commons. I'm sure there will be things that flash up here, like maybe a mythical that you can buy at some points. And then when that happens, you just have to hurry up and jump in. But like if I click buy here, let's see what happens here. It just says not enough. So I'm wondering if it's 120 of both tokens, it looks like. So 200 of both tokens. I wasn't sure if it was one or the other, but it looks like it's the combination. So that gives you an idea. And it probably also keeps in mind that you want to keep your rarities similar and not too far off. So you're making the same amount of coins so you can buy things like this. Also, what after you do go through and you do unstake it, you will have to pay a little bit of fish or steel, depending on which tool it is. I believe it's the opposite. So steel would you pay fish and fish you would pay steel. And all you do is click this red and it pops off and then it waits for 12 hours and then it's filled with energy. Next, we can go to craft and here. You can see the fishing rods that you could craft. You have to have the pieces and you can click check if you need to. There's the fish rod and there's the steel rod and you have the four rarities. Then you have your exchange, your deposit, and of course your withdrawal. If I wanted to withdraw, there's a 5% fee. Plus it's got some variables that will go around at times, but right now it is not. Here, the last picture here, you're gonna see your bait, and that is what I'm using to fish. When you're in inventory and you start off, you have to go to tools and you have to choose where. When you choose where, it's gonna go ahead and equip your rod and you can equip four of them. So make sure you do that. I'm trying to do two of each. It's up to you how you wanna do it. I think that's the best way to work. And then after that, you have to go to baits and you have to wear your bait as well. I'll go ahead and wear this because I can, it'll just kick this one off. So we'll wear, we'll choose the 13 and it'll switch here to 13. We are successful. Now this will update. I have seen a little bit of a delay in updating the interface. So at times it's just gonna take a little time for stuff to kick in. And if that's the case, you could always do control F5. Also make sure you don't have popper blockers on because if you do, it's gonna cause some error messages. So now we are all equipped with the fishing rod. We are equipped with the bait. We have baby boy equipped. We have our pass set up. We're also named and there's also levels. I'm about to be level two, which is pretty cool. And we're about to fish for the first time in this video. So we're gonna go up here. Automatically the fishing window will pop up and you can bump people around. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably gonna yell at me and all I do is choose you go ahead and choose the bait here And this is gonna come up and then you click and you hold and you're watching that orange yellowish line You don't want it to get red. Here's what it looks like when it's red Oh, you don't want to go that red because your line might break So you want to try to be careful and slowly inch up and you'll kind of get an idea for it how it works and then boom Hopefully we don't get any errors. There we go. We got 12 FLS. We got three on a bonus and then we got one XP. So sometimes errors do pop up. I've noticed that, but most of the time when the errors pop up, still everything's working. It just gives you an error and that's because the game just released. So give it a little time and I'm sure that portion will be resolved. Now we can go ahead and fish with the next one and we'll do the same thing. And you can see my skill as a fisherman. I am a professional. Do not try this at home. I got a level two trying to bump me out of the way. I'm sorry, I'm about to be level two myself. Oh, see there, we got an error, but it's still gonna work. So if we go to the exchange, we can usually see here that it is in here. So we had one steal, we fished, we got like that 13 or whatever that popped up in here. And then we just did it again and it didn't update, it got an error, but if you go into here, you can always see the real information. So this will reload next time I load, log in, so no big deal. I really would love a refresh button here just to kind of refresh everything, but hopefully with time. Let's go ahead and do the fish portion. Now this is gonna be for fish and we are almost at that level up. There is some sound, however I do have sound turned off. I keep it off on these videos just because of copyright issues I've had in the past. So you'd have to check out the game for that. Again, it's not free. You do need a baby boy and a fishing rod to start. We did get another error there. Let's go ahead and do the fourth one. And I'm sure everything's working, so I get it. There was more errors, but they took care of a lot of them. So hopefully they resolve this one next.
Oh, there we go. So it didn't read XP. So we did actually level up. Of course, you don't see it here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reload my page. Control F5. Going to reload Unity. And here we go. We're back in the game. You can see that I did get four fish because I got one for each one with the common poles and then 27 there. And you can see I am level two now and I need 28 more catches until I get to the next level. So if I go up to the fishing pier, it will pop up and it will show all my countdowns and everything where I'm at. So at this point, I have nothing to do until the hour comes up and then I go ahead and fish again. So that's how the game works. Again, the tokens are fish and steel, so you can check them out if you'd like. I'll have a link for the tool down below. Again, not a sponsored video, just a game I think is pretty fun. And I feel in the wax space, we need some more fun games. I like that they have this built out in this world. They can do some cool little things, some time wasters in here, you know, to keep yourself busy in between. Maybe even like a gambling thing if you want to spend some fish or whatever. They have a lot of potential here. So I'm hoping they don't just stick with the fishing and they add some other things around here. A lot, lot can go on, go on here, uh, you know, and uh, I'm excited for it. One last thing I'll show you is the roadmap just to see where we're at. So game launch, so that's great. They're gonna have some new features soon. Fishing badge public sale. They're gonna have new feature fisher badgers. Probably maybe you get a certain record of fish or something, you get some rewards maybe. Um, phase five will be a land system update, public sale, new features on land. And then phase six, introducing even more new features, feature orb system, which I don't know what that is and some more stuff. That's Fishing Land. Let me know what you think and if you are interested, let me know your honest thoughts. I'm curious, are you sick of the games where you have to click or is something like this what you've been waiting for? I think when the chat feature is working, unless it is working and people are just quiet, it's gonna be even better because then you can just sit there, talk to people, fish and hang out. Maybe even have some other features where you can compare sizes of fish and things like that. Trophies for the most fish, you know, that you can visit, like a trophy board you can go to in the game instead of outside in another area. So many different things. I hope they keep going. So that's Fishing Lands. Thanks so much for watching and thank you for the view.